Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush, and today we are going to be playing with a Genie Fire Elemental Cannon Shot deck, which is always a lot of fun. Really gimmicky deck. whole point of the deck is just to try and be sneaky and get behind my opponents. We also have some cards like Gust of Wind, Spike Statue, just, I don't know. I don't know if you'd call this a trolling deck or just a really sneaky deck. But I always have a lot of fun with it, just because uh, it's, you know, it, it requires a decent amount of um, timing to get it just right. But at the same time, you often kind of need a little bit of luck too. So you never quite know what you're going to get in any given match. Because the viability of this deck really depends on not only what my opponent has, but the way they play their cards. And how quickly they react to things. And, you know, how good they make decisions and such. And this one is going very well for me. All I have to do is just keep up the pressure. I guess it isn't so much a timing-based thing for me. I just kind of play... Basically, I just play the cards I have. And that is why this is oftentimes a very popular type of idea in double mana speed as well to wear down your opponents. You know, I added in Fortify, you Fortify Cannon Shot, Genie, Fire Elemental. You can do a lot of damage to their castle. The only reason I didn't include Meteor is just because I found its mana cost was a little too high to be uh, sort of competitive in this game mode. Or I mean, in regular matches like this. In double mana speed, I would probably use Meteor, but in regular ranked matches, I was finding Meteor to just be a little too mana costly. So, and I found I could still actually, you know, get it done most of the time um, with Cannon Shot, Genie, and uh, Fire Elemental. Especially with Fortify in there too, because it gives me more time, it buys me more time to be able uh, to pull it off. But overall, some really interesting matches on the whole. Uh, you, again, you never quite know what you're going to get. And many, many matches where I got very, very close, but just couldn't quite finish it off like this one. Uh, I wasn't that close, but I was putting pressure on them. This deck always puts pressure on your opponent. And uh, I find a lot of... I have a lot of fun with this type of deck. It's one of my favorite types of decks, I would say. I like this more than rushing just because it's a little bit more creative, but it's still a little bit not what your opponent would be expecting. And Fire Elemental is maybe one of my favorite cards in the game. Just because of how versatile it is, but how powerful it is at the same time. So this match is looking really good so far. I was playing a lot of lower levels, but again, because of the season reset, uh, trophies are down, and I'm basically playing like whoever happens to be in that trophy range. This one, unfortunately, though, they have a lot of DPS in that middle lane, and I can't really stop it, so I'm just going for the quad cannon shot. And that was enough, despite the fact they had way more DPS on my castle. So, cannon shot coming through clutch. Uh, this one, they have a dangerous storm elemental. They're going all three lanes, which is kind of making me nervous. So I know I have to try and immediately get damage on the castle. And we're just going to wait and see what we can do. Because of the way this deck works, I really can't play the Fire Elemental on their ranged cards unless they're right at the castle. Usually I have to play the Fire Elemental on the castle or else I'm not getting enough damage to be able to be on pace to win the match. So we're still in this one pretty good. They are laughing at me, but... Honestly, we're not in that bad shape. That was a tough blow, though. I still have some cards to delay them with, but I'm getting pretty nervous. 
do I have what I need? Uh, there is a cannon shot. I really just need like one more card. Unfortunately, though, they keep hanging in there. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna get it. Dang, that was really close. Ah, uh, super close on that one. Couldn't quite finish it off. This one, a dangerous reaper comes out, but uh, with gust of wind, not too concerned. They play protection, but honestly, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to eliminate that stack anyways. My job is just to delay them, and another gust of wind, so that should work out nicely. They had less castle health than I did to start with, so again, another advantage in my favor. And I almost already have enough cannon shots to pull off the win. I think at this point I do. Yeah, we can win. And that's going to finish that one off. Stopped a rushing deck right there. They never even had a chance. Yeah, these Valkyrie decks are a little nerve-wracking. Um, but again, I kind of go over the top of them, so really, it more comes down to almost luck on my end in terms of, like, what they play and how they play it. Because if they play it all in one lane, I can very easily delay them. And, like, that dragon actually helped me because of its blowback. We'll see, though. I have a good health advantage right now. 12,000 health advantage, practically. Um, I'm in good position, but they have some very strong cards out in all three lanes. This is going to be very challenging to pull off. I'm really not on pace in terms of damage. Uh, well, maybe I am. I'm still in it. But that mud elemental is going to really take me down fast. Oh, I don't know about this draw, guys. No, I don't think we have it. Dang. Tough, because it's all three lanes, so I can't just blow back one of them. That's it. Man, rough spot right there. I really thought I could win that. Um, well played by them. They pushed all three lanes. Made it tough on me. Um... But again, maybe it really comes down to more how my opponent plays and reacts, and that kind of dictates whether or not this deck can be successful more than anything. This one I probably will win, but mostly just because my opponent was Castle 8 and didn't have very much health to start with, so that definitely gave me an advantage. What else we got? Oh, they're already saying good game. Oh, I should have used that on the Archer Queen. That was dumb. That was a mistake by me. I could have taken out that Archer Queen. Actually, though, that Dragon, guys, might help me. Let's see. Can we finish them off? We just need one more play. Oh my gosh, this is getting really close. Oh! 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 Oh, snap! Wow, okay. Alright, now let's play someone my own level, see what we can do here. I'm just going in for max pressure. They're, they have a Skull Queen deck. In theory, I'm well equipped for this, but I've already played two Spike statues. So, and I don't plan to get rid of the Skull Queen. So this could get could get rather nasty here if I'm not careful. They could really speed it up on me, and that's what they're about to do, I think. Yeah, this is going to get dicey, guys. I'm going to go for the elimination there. That was smart. I'm still in this, but honestly, I'm not on pace with the damage don't think I'm on pace with the damage here. And now they used a fire elemental. That was not good. Luckily, we can use Blizzard. Get in the genie. I'm forced to play my last card in my hand. Come on. Do I have anything else? That's helpful. 
but maybe I should have actually played it into that lane. Yeah, dang. Well, good game there. We tried. I was reasonably, reasonably competitive for most of that last match. Uh, let's try another lower level opponent. This one looks promising just because they have most of it concentrated in that one lane. Shaman is middle lane though. Yeah, we'll free Shaman. Uh, they're reasonably spread out. Am I on pace for damage? And no, I don't think... This is not looking good. They have a fire elemental. This is not looking good, guys. Uh-oh. But it's not impossible. Okay, that helped me. Dragon help. Just because it gave me a few precious seconds. And then that helped me too, honestly. They're kind of helping me out here, just because I needed to buy some extra seconds to draw more cards. And that's what's happening. I might win this. I might win this. Oh, this is going to be close. I got it. I got it. Nice. They were really helping me with those gusts of wind. Um, and the dragons, because, like, if they just not gust of wind, their dragons would have gotten a lot closer. And their dragons were going to out-damage my fire elementals, so why they were so panicked, I don't know. Anyways... That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of gimmicky deck here. So leave a like if you did enjoy it. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content I should create. Maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.